How's it going guys? Welcome back to our channel, your Tim's Karakuda, and today we're back in the Greenville revamp with another update. Now, this update added quite a bit, so I'm gonna go tell you guys what all of that is right now. So, we first off got a new revamp toy for trucks building, Canadian plates at the DMV that you can put on your car, of course. Uh, auto lights for the cars that have them in real life. You have new working MPG and saving fuel. You can now take the roofs off convertible cars. Seated animations or seating animations when driving a convertible car. Uh, there's a new option in settings called acceleration mode. There's a new specs tab, which is on every car in the dealership. Two new prop buildings, dealership music, and then all sorts of other things and then 17 new cars were added and a whole bunch of different cars were updated so let's go into the dealership here and take a look at the new cars i'm not going to obviously review all of them but in the background here you can hear the new dealership music one thing i wish was um i wish there was an option to turn off the music because at some points it does get annoying but let's take a look at the cars you have 2022 wolfsburg Alberqui Quirqui. I have no idea what this is, but this is the Volkswagen Teos. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And you can see the specs tab here. So this thing goes 123, gets about 31 mpg and 140 horsepower, weighs about 4,000 pounds. So that's really cool. You have a uh, Western Motors Protogen wagon. New trims on the Ford Bronco. Uh, this Western Motors Circle was just updated with a removable convertible top. You have a new Volvo XC90, 2021 Toyota Camry, 2021 Hyundai Elantra, 2021 Acura, I believe it's the TLX, and then new trims on the 2021 Mercedes G-Wagon, which this is 100% my new favorite car in the entire game. These trims on here are absolutely awesome. You have the 2021 coat, um, Kia Sorento, a couple different trims. To the updated 2021 Dodge Charger with a hilarious V6 wide body, which I will show you guys the GT wide body. It's just so funny. Uh, updated Dodge Challenger 2021, updated trims, probably lighting too. 2020 Toyota Camry. 2020 Subaru Ascent, the 2020 Rolls Royce, I believe this is the Dawn, if I'm not wrong, 2020 BMW Z4, or the new Mark V Super, 2020, or this car was actually updated, this is the BMW 3 Series, 2019 Bronson Cicada, which I believe is the Buick Cascada, I think that's how you pronounce it. 2017 Wolfsburg Tornado, 2015 Chevron E Current, 2015 Belco uh, 66. This is just obviously has a removable top. And then you have your Toyota Highlander 2014. Oopsies. Uh, uh, 2014 Toyota Highlander, another Volkswagen Scirocco, I believe. Your 2013 Dodge Challenger, uh, 2012 Ford Fusion. 2009 Suzuki and then all of these cars at the top here were all updated with removable tops and the WSP charger and normal charger were both updated. Now let's go take a look at the new cars and new buildings. So we're going to start in this G-Wagon here which looks absolutely amazing. The trim and color choices on this thing are insane. And starting it up it sounds very very good so the first building we're going to take a look at is of course the new toys for trucks which is now called truck planet and in new prop buildings were also added so if i can find out where those are we will also check those out the handling and everything on this thing is just amazing i love this car definitely my new favorite car in the entire game Except for the braking. The braking is a little bit iffy. But you can see acceleration mode here. You have smooth or instant. We're going to put on smooth. As you can see, it's not as fast. And this is Truck Planet. 
So, you can see this is where Toys for Trucks used to be. And on the inside, you have a nice selection of wheels for your car, or truck, I should say. All sorts of flags for every country. Some camper shells for the back of your truck. Um, some pictures all around. I'll go back in there a little later. You have a bathroom. Oh, wow, I didn't know the bathroom was usable. You have an office in there. Nice um, E-class. You have a whole bunch of um, other flags for brands in the game. A tire stack here. Of course, your front desk and cashier area. You have some car stereos for your car or truck. Cool light bars. Um, I haven't actually seen any of these on cars in-game, or I should say these two, so that could be a hint towards what's coming. Not sure what these are. They kind of look like dump truck beds or rollback flatbeds. I don't know. Same with this thing, just a different color. And then, of course, you have all of your different brands. Now, I'm going to go back to where I was before. I actually want to turn on my performance stats. I'm doing pretty good. It just doesn't seem like it's as smooth as it should be. This building is now super detailed. But in here, you have a awesome little... Um, I don't know if you would call this a service area or an uh, area in the building that you can work on cars. I, a shop. I don't know. This fan is massive. But you have um, some nice details, a lot of boxes, usable ladders, some vacuums, some lights, more ladders, a fan, another fan, another vacuum, and all sorts of uh, boxes. So that's pretty cool. We will now get in... Let's go for the 2013 Dodge Charger. This thing is pretty, pretty nice. And this is the prop building that was added. It's just um, supposed to resemble like a factory. There are all sorts of other prop buildings around the map, but this is just another one like that. And I'm stuck. This right here would be an awesome place to test out your suspension, though. Alright. So, I'm going to see what else is in this update here that I can go check out. Um... Really nothing else, I'll probably just go over some cars now, since it's really been too long. And this thing right here, we're actually going to turn acceleration mode to instant because this is just way too slow. This right here is the Buick Cascada, I think. I think that's what it's called. In-game is the Bronson Cicada, but I don't really remember what the real name is. Uh, lighting on this thing is super realistic, you have brake lights running lights and you can see auto lights here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it um let's do seven oh that's 7 a.m. let's do no that's too late 18 how about 17 times 17 and you can see the lights are gonna come on once it gets dark enough so I'm just gonna drive around a little bit and the convertible tops on this on these things you can see are now removable so they kind of just like dissolve away and the interiors are super detailed so the steering wheel inside does move it's not really at the same time as the wheels but that's okay and then I wish you could keep the car on while you got out of the car because you can see the screen here works and all sorts of buttons so this thing is super cool super super realistic the buttons even stick out, so that's a crazy model that they did on this thing. Super, super good job. Uh, definitely all of the new convertible cars, they did an amazing job on the interior. And you can see the headlights just came on. It's only about 5.30, but the headlights still came on. And then you do have the option to turn them off. So we're just going to drive around for a little bit here, taking a look at a whole bunch of different cars. I think that's pretty, pretty good thing to do. Well, since, you know, I don't really go over cars too much in updates anymore. Uh, yeah, so that was the Cascada, I think. This is the Volkswagen Taos. So I believe they just started telling, selling this thing in real life. 
it before it was never sold in real life but i i mean not in real life in the u.s but i believe they just started selling this thing in the u.s um which is pretty cool i'm not sure how many people are gonna buy it, it doesn't really look the nicest and it's i think it's to replace the volkswagen volkswagen tiguan but it is pretty cool and the running lights in the front here also look really cool you have that light bar there so that's pretty pretty nice super detailed lighting on this thing you have um, your turn signals, turn signals in the front, and your headlights. The horn does disturb me though. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but the horn almost kind of sounds like ultimate driving horns. Though the horn on this car in real life may just sound like that, but to me it kind of sounds like the horns in ultimate driving. Um, that's a weird reference, but I have barely played Ultimate Driving, but the time that I have, and the amount of times I've pressed the horn, it definitely sounds pretty, pretty familiar. Now, if I'm being totally honest, this thing is actually pretty, pretty fast and pretty, pretty nice. We're gonna head over to the DMV here. I love how detailed the lighting on this thing is. Headlights and taillights, it all looks super, super good, but we have a whole bunch of cars to get to. No, I'm not going over every single car. I'm just going over the cars I want to go over. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... Let's just get into something like this base model Bronco, which we'll go over next. Come into the dealer here, and then go over to the plate renewal area. And if you press on plate design, then you can change to, like, the Yukon, um, Saskatchewan. I don't know how to pronounce that. Quebec, you have Prince Edward Island, Ontario, N uh, Nunavut, Nova Scotia, and all kinds of other places in Canada. Sorry if I butchered any of those names. I'm not very good with providences in Canada. But this is the new Ford Bronco. Well, not technically new, but there are new trims on this Bronco. This is the base trim. You can see the lighting isn't the most realistic in the front. Uh, just there are all of the lighting is really decals, but that is really to show the base modelness on this thing. That doesn't make sense, but if there's one thing I wish you could do on this thing is take off the top, because honestly, on the Jeep Wrangler and this Bronco, taking off the top would be super cool to see the interior, or even have it like safari style, so you just take off this back piece here, that'd be super, super cool. But you know, we just got an update, I'm not going to complain. The handling on this thing isn't the best, but I mean it is an off-road based vehicle, so I don't expect it to be the best. A nice light there to shine on your license plate. And this thing also has auto lights, since it is a new car. There are quite a few cars that don't have auto lights, I will say. A lot of older cars. This horn is definitely a lot better than the other horn. And top speed 115, but you can always, before buying the car, check the specs on uh, the car in the dealership now because you can now check the specs. So I'm not going to go through all of these, but I do want to go through this thing. This is or go over this thing. This is the new Vo uh not Volkswagen. Rolls-Royce Dawn, I believe. So, of course, since this is such an expensive car, it is extremely detailed. You have your lighting in the front here, and then your turn signals uh here on the side, and then in the back, and your brake lights, and even the reverse lights, everything is super detailed. And when you get out of the car, the spirit of ecstasy even disappears, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Along with that, it's not just the spirit of ecstasy disappearing and super detailed lighting. You can also take off the top and you have a beautiful, beautiful interior. They did an awesome job on this thing. See, I'm going to hop out and the spirit of ecstasy is gone. Super, 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 super detailed interior on this thing. 
I definitely, definitely will say this thing looks absolutely awesome. The interior, you can see all of the wood and everything, the clock, the steering wheel is super detailed, the vents, even in the back here, this vent, the speakers, all incredibly detailed and it looks super good. I can tell this model definitely took a lot, a lot of time to make. And, oh, this thing doesn't have four wheel steering, I thought it did. And I do like how this thing, the only reason I got the base trim on this thing is because it has the brown top, which looks very good with the black exterior. And then, um, most of these cars will get green car views, but I do want to show you guys this funny V6 charger. They made this as a troll, it's not, a, there's not actually a V6 charger in real life, but you can see it's pretty, pretty slow compared to the normal wide body charger that you that actually has a wide body and it, it's not a v6 I, I i hope you know what i mean <laughs> but uh yeah it's definitely not as nice as the other ones but it it really wasn't really wasn't intended to be that way it's just kind of made as a troll charger I think it's pretty funny though, and <laughs> honestly, I'll probably be driving it around. With that said though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did smash the like button, please consider subscribing. Go to the Discord server, Rams Card Fans, over link will be in the description and in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.